doesn't perform as promised. But our next guest did not take the disappointment lying down and his hilarious response is finally getting him noticed. Take Sethi bought a Jeep. Don't doubt. Don't second guess. Don't hold back. And as the ad suggested, Teg didn't hold back. I made a mistake, I bought a Jeep. I, I made a mistake, I bought a Jeep, yeah. I made a mistake, I bought a Jeep. Don't you make a mistake and buy a Jeep, yeah. He made a film clip to the tune of Red Foo's New Thang at a cost of $8,000 to make his point. And it wasn't just the car that upset him. So I take it back to the dealership for the mend. To fix it, we drive our brakes down again. This car's giving me anxiety. He also found little help from the official bodies. So I call FCA cause I am done. Hell no, son, no replacement, no refund. So having bought a lemon, he decided to make something of it. I am making it up, I'm making lemon tang, I'm making lemonade, I'm making lemon meringue. They didn't sell me a car, sold me a lemon, man. And if I'm going out, I'm going out with a bang. Jeep eventually heard his complaint and have agreed to take another look at the problem. I just want my money back. In the meantime, Teg suggests we don't believe the hype. It's the road condition, sir, that made it pull to the left, pothole, speed humps and all of the rest. So there's nothing we can really do about it. But in your TV ad, it's driving up a f mountain. <laughs> oh, Ted joins us live from Melbourne. Mate, that is a fantastic video. I love you in your Jared Hayne um, Niners top as well. Um, you must have been really ticked off to go to all this trouble and the cost of making it. Uh, yeah, look, it is a safety issue. And that's, that's the number one here, is that my family's in this car and uh, these guys just don't seem to care. So, you know, when, uh, when, you, when, when you fall upon deaf ears, you've got to do something about it to make yourself heard, and that's what I did. Yeah, look, you're not the only one. There's, there's been a, a big campaign of people uh, who have been sold dodgy Jeeps, and it does sound like Chrysler is now starting to accept some of the responsibility. What, what were the major problems with the car? Oh, look, we've had steering issues, we've had turbo issues, uh, we've had air conditioning issues, loss of power, uh, entertainment unit not working correctly, uh, windscreen wipers going off intermittently. How long does do I have on this segment? <laughs> <laughs> not so that long. It was a dead set lemon. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, it was Sam? A, it was a total lemon. A total lemon, that's correct. OK. As, I, as, as the song says. <laughs> yeah, they are... Now, after you've caused all this fuss, say, yeah, bring it back in, we'll have another look. Do you reckon they'll be able to fix everything? Look, they've, they've asked for it back for an independent inspection at their dealership, which is interesting. Um, either way, uh, regardless of what the result is, we don't, I don't care. I've got service reports uh, which prove that the car is a lemon. So regardless of what they come back with, I just want my money back. What have you been told, Teg? What are your consumer rights when you buy a car like this? And as I say, you're not the only one. There's a lot of people in your situation with Jeeps. Um, what, what are your rights as a consumer? Are you allowed to... Do, will they give you your money back? Well, uh, there is a problem with the consumer law at the moment. It's not exactly clear. And this is why if Mr Malcolm Turnbull, thank God you're our Prime Minister, if you're listening, Australia is the best country in the world, but we need lemon laws. So please, please do this on a federal level. We really need your help. Consumers okay. like us are struggling. All right. All right. When he's done with Joe Cobadodo, he'll probably get straight onto those lemon laws. Yep. Um, take good on you. The, the, the video is very entertaining. We hope you get your money back. Sunrise, baby. I can't believe I'm here. This is awesome. <laughs> hey, hey, by and the way, just really quickly, uh, my lemon man, I think he's got the hots for your cash cow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you reckon we could introduce them at yeah. some stage? <laughs> let, it, let us know when the album's out. <laughs> if right. they don't refund my car, I might need to record an album. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, mate. Good yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you, Teg. You've been quite entertaining. <laughs> All right, now, jet lag can be punishing, but spare a thought for our next guest. Yeah, this Sydney dad has been flying to every continent for 12 days, notching up around 200...